Yo, what's good campers? This is your boy Killer BZ, man, and today we are back with another war video, man. Today we are up against SB, man. Samurai Blood. Now, uh, if you guys enjoyed the last war video, man, make sure you hit the like button. Um, I, I hope that you guys uh, are, are enjoying me trying to keep on top of these war videos again, man. Big shout out to my bro, Jackie, man. I believe that Jackie Sama was actually in this alliance, but I didn't even know until, like kind of after the war <laughs> didn't even know my own boy was in i didn't even know i was going normally i'm on top of those things but yeah man your boy's just been crazy busy recently man so um but yeah so anyway so um yeah man for those of you who saw the last war video you would have seen that you know i died a few times and uh, i must reiterate in these war videos man for those of you watching me for the first time or whatnot i have no desire whatsoever to be the best player at this game I do not play this game to be the best. I do not claim I'm highly skilled, <laughs> or um, maybe I do sometimes. But um, yeah, I, I don't. I don't play this game to be the best at it or to like you know improve my skill level or enough. I just play this game for fun, man. I enjoy playing the game, and you know I'm, I'm not the best player. I'm far from the best player, but you know I play it and I have fun with it, man. So you know, like yeah, I know I'm not that great. So you know, it is what it is, man. I play, I have fun. And then uh, we we jump off the game, man. You know, maybe if Kabam was to like, you know, start like, you know, hosting kind of like tournaments or stuff, and you know, kind of had like something going on for like players that were like pros on this, and you know, there was a little like tournaments and stuff. Then, you know, your boy might take a bit more time into like, you know, kind of brushing up on my skills and you know, trying to get good at the game. But yeah, man, for now. <laughs> Yeah, man, for now, it's just it's just for a little bit of fun, man. So, uh, let me tell you something about this node, right? So, for Ragnarok on this road has been given me... On this node, sorry, has been giving me problems for a very, 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 very long time. And, um... I think it was my alliance leader. If it's not, then apologies. But I, I think it was my alliance leader who... It was either my alliance leader or one of the officers that suggested Ghost. And uh, I was like, oh, does Ghost work? And I was like, oh, yeah, let me try Ghost, innit? It's part of the reason why I took her to rank 5 so quickly. And, um, yeah, man, I saw a video of Ghost again, and I was like, yo! Now, uh, you guys might have seen that I didn't bring the full Ghost synergy into War last war, and I didn't again for this war. The reason for that is because I scout my path. I scout my path um, before I jump into war, and I saw a few fights that you know ghost would have been good for and i saw a few fights that corvus would have been good for and that's the reason why i thought okay let me i tell you what i don't like to bring one champion i don't like to base everything on one champion for alliance war because i'm, I'm a bit of a scrub and if i mess up and i do something wrong then i'm screwed whereas if i screw up with one of my champions i still have someone else to kind of go in there with and um it's part of the reason why i kind of try to bring in at least two champions that i can use and maybe use a third champion champion for synergies although eventually i do want to rank up wasp and start using wasp in some fights man because i don't see a lot of people use wasp and i feel like wasp is very underrated man i feel like a lot of people that will talk to you about wasp will say oh yeah wasp is decent she's good but you kind of don't really see that much gameplay of her. So I want to change that. I want I want to start using Wasp a lot, in a lot more um, scenarios. And when I rank Wasp up, then I don't mind bringing the full Trinity. Because then I'll use Wasp and Ghost in a lot of fights. So, uh, but anyway. So, right now, um, you know, I've gone with Ghost, Wasp, and then Corvus again. Now, it, there's a fight that I screwed up on so much man and for those of you that were tuned into my live stream yesterday you guys would have heard me talking briefly about um about war and addressing war and i'm not sure if i addressed it in my last video as well but um you know the, the times that i fight in war man like i've been going to bed at like two three in the morning and trying to use energy before i go to bed and taking fights and it really isn't the greatest of ideas man and as of the third war into this season, I kind of told myself I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, you know, if I hold up sort of nodes and people have to kind of, we, we end up clearing the map later because people have to wait for me, then so be it, man. But I, I don't want to be fighting anymore when I'm really tired or first thing in the morning when I wake up and uh, be causing us deaths because of it, man. So um, one of the things I did was um, 
in, in the third war. We'll talk. We'll discuss it more when I do that video. But uh, just to briefly let you know, I, I kind of like you know fought, my, done my fights at decent times, and let me just say, you guys are gonna see the the difference. You guys are gonna see the improvements, yeah. But anyway, back onto this video. So, as you can see, so we've just cleared one of the little mini bosses. We go up against Iron Man Infinity War. And I think this fight, I think I was doing. I think it was about 2.30 in the morning I'd done this fight. And oh my, oh my. Like, when I woke up in the morning the next day, I I was beating myself up so much about this, man. Um, but anyway, so we're going with Corvus. So the idea here is, okay, look. In this matchup, we can possibly get three charges just from this one fight, right? For those of you who don't understand Corvus, so one, Corvus gets a charge if he beats an Avenger. Two, Corvus gets a charge for beating a tech. And three, Corvus can get a charge from... If he comes across any evading or auto-blocking champions, um, after they auto-block or evade an attack, if he knocks them down, he'll gain a charge. So potentially, I could gain three charges from this one fight and you know those are the kind of things that i look at when i'm thinking about bringing corvus into war man so obviously what this is like equivalent to a rank four unduped corvus and i, I still think despite me uh, like doing my tests and whatnot and, and doing my gameplay with these champions like uh, corvus and ghost the, these fairly newer champions that i knew to my roster i still think i need a bit of it i, I, I i'm still a bit gobsmacked that i have them and uh, a big part of me is still a bit like gets nervous when trying to use them or whatnot. So uh, you know, obviously, practice practice makes perfect and all that good stuff. But uh, you know, the fight's going fairly well, man. And and yeah, it's just oh, I think I, I think there's a part of the fight. This fight was going really good, and I think there was a part of the fight where I got clipped, man. So as you can see, this is a fury note. So the more I leave him alone, the more furies is going to build up, and the more furies he's going to build up, the more damage I'm going to take. But as you can see, I mistimed the evade there, man, and took a hell of a lot of damage, and um, that was my own fault, man. Um, so we, we, we're going again. In my mind, I'm thinking, you know what? We had a fairly good run, um, and I only died because I mistimed an evade, so cool man let's go back in and uh you know hopefully we should be able to finish him off i mean that was the plan that was the plan ladies and gentlemen but as you know guys when you make a plan the plan don't always go through there's something changes yeah <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen what changed in this fight was uh iron man built up a hell of a lot of furies <laughs> and uh, i was taking a hell of a lot of block damage and i panicked so I'm like, Rawr. okay, like, <laughs> what do we do from here? Like, I can't intercept. My man's nearly on 10 Furies. If I take one more block hit, I'm going to dead, yeah? So I threw the L2, boom, didn't do that much damage because we didn't have no charges. And I'm just sitting here like, bruh, we take one block hit to bit out of special, man. We are toast. So my only option was to try and intercept. And as you guys know, I'm not the best. And that's what happens when you fail an intercept. You get parried and you get slapped up in the face. So, um, I got slapped up in the face, as you saw, and uh, I thought, ah, oh, you know what, he's got some low health, man, I should be able to finish him off with Ghost, we'll just get him down to 15%, and then uh, we'll just use heavies, should be perfectly fine, all good, I got it, we're good. So, as you can see, it's 17%, boom, I hit him, not expecting that one kick to bring him down to 14%, it did, wasn't paying attention, went to hit him again, and yeah, man, guys, we've died three times to call this, man, this is like some season two stuff, man. Like, bro, I I was so pissed when I woke up in the morning, man. I was like, bro, you died three times to Corvus, bro. Like back in Omni days, you said you don't start, you don't die to the same chance twice, bro. You died three times in one war to Iron Man Infinity War, bro. Yeah, I was pissed at myself, man. I was really pissed at myself, man. Um, lost sleep, everything, man. Twisting and turning in my sleep, having nightmares, man. Saw them, saw that, saw them, saw that that the Iron Man suit just in my nightmares, man. <laughs> not giving me good sleep man so uh so yeah man. So as you can see iron man infinity war is down man now the reason why i say to you guys like obviously i i think i'm okay skill wise as long as i play and i concentrate a little bit man concentration is a massive part of this game right so um hold on before i go into what i was gonna say so here as you can see guys my lane is normally the lane where i take yondu and iron man infinity war 
And that was one of the reasons why I brought Corvus, because I thought I would get a um, I would get a charge from beating the Yondu, and then it will make it a little bit easier beating Iron Man Infinity War. But someone took my path by accident, and I had to take a different path. And the fight that I'm about to take, I didn't come prepared for. So I just got absolutely slapped, man. But um, but yeah, so it, it was just, yeah, man. Like, the, the limbo damage was just crazy. Uh, just to give you guys, because I actually didn't record me finish her and finishing her off. I thought it was recording and it wasn't. But I actually went in with Ghost after this and I actually took um, magic down, man. Big shout out to my boy Jackie, man, because I didn't even realise it was Jackie's magic, right? <laughs> But yeah, man, um, so just to let you guys know, man, uh, we did actually lose this all, man. Big shout out to SB, man. Congratulations to you guys on the win, and uh, best of luck in the rest of the season, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this war video. I certainly didn't, um, but I'm looking forward to showing you guys the next one, man, because my concentration... Concentration is a massive part of being good at this game, man, and uh, you guys are going to see that when I show you guys the next war video, man. But thank you guys for watching. It's been your boy, Killer Beezy. I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.